Hey guys, what's going on? Bobby here, and today we're going to be playing some Piper on Gem Grab Bouncing Echo. What's up guys? So we're going to be playing some Piper mid today. And unfortunately, I was recording the games live, and I was having my live reactions like I normally do, but it didn't work out. Apparently, my storage is full, even though I deleted like 100 videos yesterday, literally, and have like 60 gigabytes of free storage. So I don't know how my storage is full, but I keep getting errors. And we had four pretty good games, so we're going to go over them, and I'm going to record, and I'm going to watch them, spectate them in replay mode, and show you guys exactly what we did and how to play Piper Mid on this map. Now, as you guys know, the map was changed from... The previous echo, click the wrong frame, the previous echo to from echo chamber to bouncing echo. Now, this is not beneficiary for Piper. Piper actually got worse because there's a wider middle as well as there are springs. But we're going to hop into the games and we're going to show you guys how to still outplay teams with Piper. And we actually have two really, really good games and two dominant ones. So let's get right into the games. So here we go into the first game. We're going to be facing I'm Yunez, Albert, and Sammy. Three pro players in Spain. And we're going to be moving up over here. So we're facing another Piper, which is very common. You're going to see Piper made a lot on this map. And we got a Jean Lane, Patchy Pirate, and Mini Marley playing Brock. Now Brock does counter Muniz, so Mini Marley is probably going to have a pretty easy time with it, if I remember correctly. Patchy is going to go down to Albert. Albert being a really good lane, no shame in that. We're going to be going up in mid. So basically what you want to do is you kind of want to hide in the area that Sammy is in right now. Kind of just in your own spawn. He went towards the middle because there's no one there. But the goal is basically to chill, chill where I am. You don't want to really move up too far just because you're always uh, able to be hit from both the lanes as well as the piper. Now basically the goal is to try and tap people, uh, try and tap their mid so that they can back up. And you only really want to collect gems when you have your super. So it's currently a 3-3 game, pretty close. We were able to back up their piper. We're moving up over here. We actually got pushed back just because they gained full health and Patchy got pushed back. Mini Marley and I'm Yuna so far have been tying, but I'm pretty sure Mini Marley is going to come out on top towards the end of the game. Patchy is going to go down and it's six. So basically it was six to four when Albert first used his super. And now we're stuck with Albert in our spawn. Six to six as, a, as their Piper is able to pick up some free gems. And we're basically helping uh, Patchy win his lane against Albert at this point. So we were finally able to win that lane. Mini Marley also was able to kill I'm Yuna's. He's doing a great job as the Brock lane, and it's currently 8-6 to six for them. We tapped their Piper, so we're able to move back, we were also, or move up. We are also able to hit Muniz and win the lane over there for, uh, for Mini Marley. Now, we almost got Gene pulled, but we were able to run away. Now, Patchy with a really good Gene pull, he was able to get their Piper. As you guys should probably know, Gene got a buff, and his pull is actually way slower, which gives a lot more time for the Gene and his teammates to hit the shots. We we're able to take out Munez and Albert, and we're also able to tap Sammy and take him out with the help of Mini Marley. And that is going to be the end of the first game, which was very competitive, and it's not the last. We're going to be seeing of I, Munez, Albert, and Danny. So let's hop into the next game and show you guys what we can do. So into the second game here, we're going to be facing a strong North American team in I Bomb, I Fizzy, or Dub Bomb, I Fizzy Soda, and Smith the Great. Three pretty good NA players. We're going to be going up against a Piper mid again. Gene does counter Spike, so you're going to see Patchy kind of dominate his lane, I think, for the most part here. Mini Marley so far has tapped the bomb, and we've kind of just chilled because we got tapped by Fizzy Soda to start off the game. Anyways, we're just chilling. There's four gems in the middle. No one's really won a lane or won mid, so nobody's picked up the gems. Now, I did something really risky. I was able to tap I Fizzy Soda, so I went into the middle while all the lanes and the Piper were still up without a jump. Now, I really wouldn't recommend doing this, but I'm pretty good at juking, and I had a very good understanding of the fact that I wasn't going to be shot at too many times, even though it's kind of like a weird game sense. When you play the game enough, you kind of understand when things are going to happen. So that's why I did it, but I really wouldn't recommend you go into the middle while all three are alive and you don't have jump. Now, Patchy's going to go down over there to Smith the Great, but we're going to be able to hit a sneaky snipe because we don't know he's there. Me and Mini Marley are actually going to be able to hit a shot at the same time with Brock and Piper, which is going to take out their mid, and we're going to be able to run away into the back of the spawn. Now, something I really would not recommend is just hiding in the back of your spawn because you can get pushed back very easily and killed, but we did move up at the end as I corrected it. We were able to get the team wipe. 
and the quick spin at the end of the game. Now, as you guys saw from the first game, we got Piper Star. In this game, we also got Piper Star. And let's see if we can continue dominating as Piper throughout the games. So here we go into our third game. We're going to be facing Albert, Muniz, and Sammy. But Muniz is going to change off the Crow onto the Brock. And this is going to be a really entertaining game to watch. Now, there's going to be obviously two gems in the middle. Both of them, one of them kind of spawned on their side. I don't really like the RNG. I think gems should always spawn kind of towards the middle. It can go left or right, but I think it should be towards the middle. I've lost a few competitive games and won a few competitive games just due to these spawns, that which are randomized. They're not really... There isn't any pattern to them, and I really don't agree with that. But anyways, they're up 4 nothing. Patchy was able to take out his uh, Albert CG, the lane, with a little bit of help from us. Now, Patchy's going to jump in the middle and use the springs and go right back to his side, but pick up a gem in the process. We are going to be whiffing a few shots on Muniz over there, and we're going to be a little bit low health, so we're just going to go over and hide in those bushes. We are able to tap Sammy, so he's going to move back, but he also tapped us, so we're as well going to move back. So far, it's basically a stalemate between both of the lanes. Pretty good game so far, but they are currently up 5-3. to three. Uh, Mini Morley was able to break a few walls. Now, I know a lot of you guys see a super and you're like, oh, you know, it didn't hit anyone, it wasn't good. But at top-level gameplay, things like breaking walls and having them... Breaking walls kind of exposes where the other players are, and that's really interesting and something that helps out a lot. Patchy went down, but we were able to take out his lane for him, and we're going to go to the side and pick up the gems. Now, it's pretty even. There's been a few kills on each side. It's 6-5, to five, and so far, none of the mids have died so far. We're going to be able to tap Muniz, which is going to be really uh, beneficial for uh, for Mini Marley. Now, this is when the game gets interesting. Two teams, two teammates, one from our side, one from their side, jumped into the mid, kind of, I think, by accident. And this leaves us to be ahead 8-6, to six, but this makes this game more of a scramble now. The game is towards the end. The lanes are really scrambled. And now Patchy gets pulled by Albert CG, who's eventually going to kill him. Now, we were able to kill Albert for a second time when Patchy goes down. But that leaves three gems on the right side for the taking. Now, we don't want to go first because we're obviously probably going to get sniped. We're going to hit one on Danny. Then we're, we're going to hit one another one on Danny. But I'm Yunez with the body block. And then Albert picks up enough gems. Now, we whiffed on a shot over there. And we were so close to hitting that shot. But we just were out of distance by a little bit. At this point, I thought the game was over. It's 11 to 7. They're walking back into spawn. But Albert, I think, made a misplay here by dragging Patchy towards him. This made him one shot to both me and Mini Marley. And Mini Marley was able to go ahead and get the kill. Now, we are able to pick up enough gems. And we're going to be tapping Muniz over there. Muniz is going to hit us. And we're both going to be one shot. So we're going to run away. Currently, it's 11 and 11. And this is what I don't like. I hate those gem spawns. Those gem spawns are super annoying. I hate the RNG, it's on their side, and then another one appears on their side, which makes it very difficult for us to get. Now, Mini Marley is going to go down. They're going to be up 13-11 with 3-2 players, 3-2 uh, possession on us, and they should have at this point just held mid, but they moved back. Mini Marley was able to hit them with the super, which causes us to have enough time to pick up the gems. Now, it's 13-13 at the moment. Patchy's going to get a kill, which makes it 14-12 to because he killed someone with one gem. I picked up one more to make sure they don't have enough so that it's 15 to 12 and we're going to start running back now. Good super by Mini Marley, good teamwork and we were able to take him out. Mini Marley went down, caused it to go to a tiebreaker but then we killed their mid and then we walked and got our 24 gems and we were able to kill I'm Yunus as well. There's going to be 10 seconds. I went up so we don't get pushed back but I got really hard tapped by a piper so I retreated and I went back. We have our jump, we see Yunus has a super so we jump out of the way and that is a win in the third super super competitive game again another star player completely dominating with piper so far and let's hop into our fourth and final match of the day now we did lose one game due to lag so we aren't gonna put that game in just because it's not really good gameplay we got 10 out i was super laggy and it's just not something that i want to put into it so basically into the gameplay so basically, we're going to be facing a Jesse here, and this is like the fifth best mid or something. Like, I really would not recommend going Jesse here. Patchy going to go down. We're going to be killing his lane. I feel like this is an ongoing trend so far in this video. We're going to pick up a gem over there. That was actually a really interesting play that we did. I don't know if you guys picked up on it. If not, you can go back. We actually bounced their mid into the spring trap and was able to spring him over to Mini Marley when he was one shot. Now, I like to say that I did this on purpose, and fortunately I didn't, but that's something that was actually eye-opening for me, and something that I'm going to be trying to perfect and practice in the future. Now, the crow's going to jump on us. We're going to easily tap him because we're in the bushes. We do a lot of damage. Patchy's going to be holding lane for now. Mini Marley's going to be holding lane. 
Their mid isn't the strongest mid in the world, so we're not really going to have the hardest time killing him with the help of Patchy. We're going to pick up a 9th gem and a 10th gem over there. We're going to be walking back. Mini Marley winning lane, Patchy's winning lane. We're trying to keep Patchy alive. Patchy's always seeming to die. We're trying to keep Patchy alive over here because he does have one gem. We're able to take them out. We're able to super when Patchy survives with 42 health with the quick quick end of the fourth game right there that's going to be it we got four games four star players with piper anyways i hope you guys enjoy the video and hope the piper gameplay there's not and hope you guys enjoy the piper gameplay there's not a lot of maps where we can really show off our piper skills and show you guys how piper can be effectively used because piper can be played in like four maps nowadays and three of them are bounty so anyways i hope you guys enjoy the video if you guys do like comment subscribe again anything in the comments that you put in that you guys want to see for a video i will translate that and actually make it a video so anything you guys want to see leave in the comments but anyways thank you for showing up the support of late as i said last video has been awesome and i'm just going to try and keep it up just like how you guys are showing up for me so anyways thank you again i'll be back tomorrow peace